hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here uh welcome thanks for joining us um my name's ivy and i do makeup sometimes but today i have a q a video for you guys but before we get into the questions there's a couple of things that uh, i should address first so let me do that first thing i need to address is yes it's been a very long time since i've made an upload i'm so sorry like you know life just happens i had a very hectic beginning to 2017 and I was home for a month and like oh, they're like all really like dumb excuses but you know they kind of took over and YouTube kind of had to like sit down for a couple seconds um, during the hiatus though I have been posting plenty on Instagram and Twitter like there's been looks and stuff so if you aren't following me there make sure you follow uh, my links are always in the down bar um, what else oh my eyes my eyes are gray today I've been playing around with colored contacts and um, that's been fun. Uh, these ones are from TTDI and they're in the shade HD Grey. But yeah, if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you know that I've been playing around a little bit for the last couple of weeks. So yeah, last thing I want to address is that is this little accessory you'll be seeing in my videos more often. And by more often, I probably I mean like every video until I like improve my setup. <laughs> So yeah, I have this little mic, um, if I'm not wearing black it's definitely going to be more noticeable, but I have this here to improve it, like audio quality. Uh, my friend Jail sent it to me right before Christmas and honestly I'm so thankful, Jail is like the best, such a thoughtful person, um, she's like an audio engineer and stuff, she makes beats and all that kind of thing, so if you need something like that make sure you check her out, I'm going to leave her at like for Instagram and Twitter and stuff somewhere on this page while I'm talking, but make sure you check her out. She's so fucking talented. I just cursed. Um, that slip aside, uh, let's just get into the video. <laughs> all right, so I had y'all send me questions on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and all that. Uh, I just wrote down a bunch of the ones that like I was gonna answer in this video. Um, I probably won't get to all of these because this video would be 100 years long, but I just wrote down some good ones. I'm gonna start off with some frequently asked questions that I get and then I'll move on to like some of the other questions y'all asked me and yeah. All right, so first question I get fairly often is how old am I? I am 20 years of age. The next question I get is when did you start ma doing makeup and why? Um, I started doing makeup like, okay, there's like two parts to this. Uh, when I first picked up makeup, like first started doing eyeshadow ever, ever, ever in life was like in like, I want to say like middle school or something. No. Yeah, it was in middle school, definitely in like 7th or 8th grade, and it was like mainly because my cousins had just started doing it, and I, I always want to be the best at everything, so I figured I would get in and like, you know, try and be the best. <laughs> that sounds horrible, but like, I was such a competitive kid, you know what I mean? Alright, the next part of that question is like, when did I actually start practicing and like getting more, not necessarily serious, but like, actually like building my skills and stuff like that, like beyond like brown shimmer on the lid or whatever I would do for like cheer. Um, I started practicing in April 2016, which is like nine months ago. And yeah, the answer as to why for that portion. Sorry, I just got a text. <laughs> the answer to why for that portion is um, like my, I have anxiety and depression and they got like really bad at that time. And I just kind of needed like a distraction. So, I mean, I had makeup lying around and like I followed a fair amount of like makeup people and like Instagram and Twitter and I was like, I mean, I might as well like try, you know? So I started to do like different looks and stuff like that and the rest is history. <laughs> uh, another question I get really often is how do I get my eyeshadows to look so pigmented? Um, my biggest tips would be to prime with a light concealer and by light I mean like light in color. So I prime with LA Girl Pro Concealer in Yellow Corrector and I set that with an off-white eyeshadow and then um, I just really build the colors up. Uh, another thing is uh, people will often like go in with like the same transition shade for like whatever color eyeshadow they're doing but that can kind of make your eyeshadows look either muddy or like make the tones look really subtle or like change the tones so like if I'm going in with like a blue I'm not going to go in with like an orange or like brown transition shade I usually use like pink then work to a purple then work to a blue and that usually helps it fade without it like messing up the color. 
The next question is what foundation I use and uh, somebody also asked what like setting spray and powder I use so I'm going to add that onto this question. The foundation I use is, uh, not foundation, it's the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso and I add like a touch of mahogany in there. Um, they're kind of on the matte side so I make sure to use like a fair amount of moisturizer beforehand and I make sure to prime with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just to make sure I'm thoroughly hydrated. Uh, for what powder I use, there is a, I can, that tone is going to get so annoying, da -da 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 but <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> for what powder I use, uh, I use Sasha Buttercup to bake under my eyes, and then for uh, like face powder, I use JTB Cosmetics Setting Powder. Uh, you can find them on Twitter, I'll put their ad like right here somewhere, but yeah, JTB Cosmetics, their powder is bomb, it makes me look like photoshopped, I'm in love. Oh, I almost forgot. Setting spray is also the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, but if I need particularly long wear, I'll wear the Urban Decay All Nighter. <laughs> Another question I get fairly often is, what is my favorite eyeshadow palette? And um, knowing me, y'all know I can't just pick one. So I have a three right here for you, and they're kind of like my go-to palettes of the moment. So the first one I'm going to mention is Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm sure everyone says it's their favorite palette, but it's with good reason. It is so bomb. The shadows are super pigmented. Um, it's got like a lot of those like warm shades that like a lot of people gravitate towards. And it also got some nice like berry tones so you can create a little bit more of a colorful look. And I've always loved pink eyeshadow, so you know I'm here for this. The next palette I'm going to mention is a palette that I use in conjunction with both of these all the time. Like usually I'll make a look using mostly Modern Renaissance and I'll touch into this palette or I'll make a look using mostly the other palette that I'm going to mention and I'll touch into this a little bit too just because these shadows just pair so well with them. But the palette I'm talking about is the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. It's the pink one and I have the mini version because um, it's cheaper. And <laughs> It's got like all of these like neutrals down here at the bottom pair really well with Modern Renaissance. They're the same like warm orangey tones and then like it's got like these pink shades that like pair really well with that as, as well. The only thing to be careful of is that these pink shades stain but it's not like a super intense stain that won't be covered up with your primer next time, you know what I mean? So yeah, I love this palette a lot. I touch into these shimmer shades a lot of the times if I'm doing colorful looks too. But, and they're also good for like pops of color, so this palette is bomb. The next palette I'm gonna mention is newer, so I haven't been playing with it like a ton of time, but since I've gotten it, it's definitely been my go-to. Like it's just, the colors in it are amazing and the pigment is great and I just, I can't. Um, it's also by Juvia's Place. It's the Saharan palette. Um, it has these really pretty pink shimmer shades, which I really enjoy. They pair really well with um, Modern Renaissance as well, if you wanna like, you know, delve into that as well. Um, it's got like some really pretty oranges and um, there's this like one shade over here called Sokoto, which is like uh, like hot, like red orange, but it also looks like kind of coral on me. So I really love that shade. I mean, each individual shade is bomb. They're really blendable, like all the shadows I mentioned are. And yeah, ooh, almost dropped that. I said I was only gonna mention three palettes, but I mean, I guess I should mention the one I use for a lot of my colorful looks, which is the BH Cosmetics 120 palette. This has definitely gotten a lot of love. I've had it since I was like 14, 14 or 15. So I've had it for a very long time and that's why all the neutrals are basically gone because that's all I knew how to use. <laughs> but that palette is really bomb. I, I don't know if, the, like I say this all the time, I've had it for a long time. So I think potentially the quality that I have was either an old formula or it's just old, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure if the quality isn't that great because of that or because of the quality just not being great. But from what I hear, they've changed their formula. so. Um, you can try that if you want, but that is what I use for a lot of my colorful looks and I mean it's really convenient because it has so many colors in one place. Another question I get a lot is what do I use to take my pictures and what I use to take my pictures is my back camera of my iPhone 6s and um, natural light. I don't have any like lighting, like special fancy lighting, I just use natural light. Um, and then to edit I use the app Relook and I use the app... I use Relook? Oh, and Be Funky. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Those are the two apps I used to edit. 
Another question I get fairly often, like usually in like my live streams and stuff, which if you're not following me on Instagram, you're really missing out on the live streams, but <laughs> a question I get pretty often over there is where do I get my inspo from and like uh, how do I stay motivated and stuff like that. So um, for inspo, I think the biggest thing for me is just like looking around and trying to turn different things into makeup looks when I'm in a funk or sometimes this is going to sound like really like like not the best idea but when I get a new palette I'll often like look at it and I'll be like oh I really want to use that shade and then I'll find a way to use it or you can even do that like with a color you've never used before like how can I make this fit my style of makeup you know what I mean so I mean really anything can inspire like different ideas for a look like a soda can an album cover you know just try and keep an eye out for things that could be new looks as for motivation um I don't super struggle with motivation I know what I want to do and I know that I want to get there at some point so I think the biggest thing for me is just keeping that in mind and also um, I mean there's times when you're like in a funk and you feel like oh I'm not creative and I can't do anything and I mean I've been there and we've all been there it's like a really crappy feeling uh, for that I usually just like try and take a walk or just take a little break or something and just try not to force creativity uh, if you like you're outside just look around the world is beautiful there's things go everywhere you know what I mean so yeah uh, as long as you're doing it because you love it and you know where you want to be just keep that in mind and that'll help you stay motivated oh one question I get a lot whenever I do wear septum rings is where do I get my septum rings um, this is just a basic like the basic jewel you get when you're pierced but if I'm wearing something like special uh, people usually ask where I get it from and those are from Lotus and Co um, yeah I'll link them down below they have like really cute septum rings they have like one that says like the B word on it and I think it's really cute <laughs> I don't have that one but that one is so cute and there's like a bunch of other ones they're just like they have cute shit alright so that's it for the frequently asked, frequently asked questions and now we're just gonna move on to like the other questions that y'all included for this Q&A that I thought would be fun to answer the first one is from my lovely roommate Victoria and she asks have you always been sweaty or has it been a slow growth process? Honestly, being this dusty has just taken time and just I've been really just getting more dusty as time goes on. So I would like to call it a slow growth process, but you know, I've been like, ugh, from the beginning, you know? So maybe it's just, maybe she's born with it, you know? The next question is what should someone getting into makeup invest in? Um, I think the two things I would say that I don't mind spending money on are highlighters and eyeshadows because I mean you don't have to re-up on those very often like eyeshadow like I've had a highlighter that I used to use like every single day for like a year and I barely hit pan on it not too long ago and it'll definitely be able to go much longer you know what I mean? And then same thing for eyeshadows like generally they'll last a decent amount of time so those are the two things I don't mind spending money on but the one I should out of those two that I think you should definitely invest in is eyeshadows just because like um, like a lot of the times like drugstore shadows aren't super pigmented or they're not super like um, like the mattes don't apply very well and that kind of thing and that's not saying that all don't um, it's just that a lot of them do especially like and this is mostly going for matte eyeshadows because there's good shimmers in the drugstore but um, yeah I would definitely spend more money on eyeshadows and the, again like I said like you're not gonna have to spend that money over and over and over again like if you were to buy like a high-end concealer you'll go through that in like what three four months no like yeah like three or four months and then like what are you left with like you have to buy it again but with eyeshadows it'll last you forever um, next question is favorite lash brand in glue um, I haven't tried a ton of lashes but I do really I wear a lot of Eyler lashes and I like love them a lot they're like really affordable and like I think almost most of them let me not say all of them because I'm not sure but most of them are under like $10 and like right now I'm wearing the 126's they're my go-to lash and they're bomb for lash glue I use the duo vitamin enriched one like the brush on kind in the green tube uh, that's definitely my go-to simply because uh, a it has no latex in it and latex makes my eyes puff up and uh, it lasts forever a lot of people say it's comparable to like the house of and glue so yeah somebody asked do you wear your bold looks out and how did you become comfortable wearing bright makeup um, I do wear them out now uh, but 
back in the day I would have felt really weird I used to feel crazy just wearing like winged liner and like purple lipstick so we've come a long way uh, but I think what I the thing that helped me become comfortable in it is that I just started slow I started wearing neutral looks and I would wear like a pop of color and then I mean I would post like some colorful like close-up eye pictures on Instagram but I felt like they looked weird on my face but like I got more comfortable looking at those you know what I mean just starting slow not necessarily wearing them out but like wearing them in and yeah um, that's how I got there. Somebody also asked what do I think companies should do to include women of color more? Definitely expand your foundations and concealer ranges, but don't stop there. We want a contour, we want a bronze, we want blushes that aren't gonna look ashy, we want highlighters that aren't gonna look super pale, you know what I mean? Like, expand beyond the minimum. Thank you. Alright, somebody asked, I actually remember who asked this one, I forgot to write down who asked everything because I was like really trying to get it in because as you can see the sun is slowly starting to set so I had to write everything down real fast. fast. But I do remember that Angie asked this and um, her ad is Angie Victoria, I love her so much, she's super talented, make sure you check her out. But she asked where do I see myself in 10 years? Um, I would really love to still be doing makeup, I would love to be the CEO of my own makeup company I say this all the time like I want to be able to own my own makeup company and like put out products and all that kind of stuff I just think that'd be really fun of course I'd still want to be doing like YouTube and stuff like that but I definitely want to have my own company and then like people want to be like a kids and all that I don't know about kids but I do know that I would love to be married that'd be nice and I would also like to have like two dogs and then like maybe a kid who knows we'll see Somebody said, how do you feel about not going to college? Um, I definitely think that everyone should at least try it. Um, it is very useful for finding a career and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think that if you don't go to college, you're not gonna be successful because people have done it without it, you know what I mean? But I do think it is very useful. And I also think that even if you go and it doesn't like work out, you'll learn so much about yourself there. Uh, you'll potentially find out where you wanna go in life, like what you want your career to be. Um, yeah, even if you feel like you're going and you don't, you're not really like set in your major, don't worry about that because you will, you'll meet so many different people, you'll learn so many different things, you'll take different classes and you'll likely figure it out along the way. A lot of people change their major like halfway through college, you know what I mean? So don't worry about that. Just go, be open-minded about it if you can, of course if you can, like if you can't afford it, like I totally get that, but um, if you can go, go try it out and yeah. The final question I'm going to answer is what is my advice for people just starting out on social media? Um, I would definitely say that you should A, do it because you love it because you'll get really frustrated with the ups and downs and stuff like that. Like sometimes your content is doing bomb, sometimes something goes viral, you know what I mean? And then other times you're like flopping. <laughs> so um, I would just say do it because you love it or else that's going to get very frustrating. Post consistently, but don't force yourself to post to say you don't like the look or you're just not feeling it, you know what I mean? Because again, you don't want to turn it into something you like hate or like that makes you feel like you're really dragged down, you know what I mean? So try to post consistently, but quality over quantity for sure. Also, if you're not posting like looks, like let's say for makeup looks that you really enjoy, you're going to feel like really crappy if they do badly and stuff like that. Um, and try to make the best content with what you have. You don't have to have a ring light, I don't. You don't have to have a super nice camera, I don't. You don't have to have a mic, uh, I didn't until Jill so graciously gifted me one. <laughs> and this is like a fairly cheap mic. I'll ask her for the link because I know it's fairly cheap. Um, and then if I find it, I'll link it down below. But yeah, just try to do the best with what you have and then you'll upgrade as you go. Like I take my pictures with my camera, I film with my, cam I mean, with my camera with my phone. And I mean, it looks okay. <laughs> so just do what you can with what you have. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Alrighty, that's it for this video. Uh, I really hope you liked it. I had fire rambling on to like the different answers to your questions. If you did like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, of course, because I would love to see you in the next one. And yeah, uh, make sure to comment any suggestions y'all have for videos down below. Uh, I do have some things planned, but I would really like to know like what you guys want to see, of course. And 
then uh, yeah, that's about it. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, which are both at Ivy Kungu, and my Snapchat, with, which is Miss Poison Ivy 01. Um, of course, on my Instagram, I post like I do live streams and stuff like that where I just talk to y'all, which is always fun. And like uh, my story is always popping with some little tutorials here and there. So uh, yes, that's it for this one. I will see you in the next video, hopefully. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, bye.